Why is female orgasm day important? It's so important because orgasms are really good for your health, for your physical health and your mental health. And actually there is an orgasm gap. A lot of women actually struggle to enjoy an orgasm and that's why we need to have a day to celebrate it. The orgasm gap is real, you know. Orgasms are important and females are important. Because I think an orgasm is the best thing that's ever happened to a human being on this planet. <laughs> There's not been enough conversation around it in the past. I feel like women on the whole have been overlooked when it comes to their sexual gratification. And it's been a, for a long time about the man's pleasure. I think it's beyond empowerment really. Being able to be at one with your body and finding the essential parts of you that might actually be ignored by society. So for me, being able to say, hey, this is the day where I can proudly say, I like pleasuring myself. How kinky are you? Pretty kinky. I am up for trying most things. Um, but in terms of what I really enjoy, truthfully, not that kinky. It's dependent on who I'm with that certain things can come out a little bit more or how comfortable I am. So, and I still have so much more to kind of explore, which I'm looking forward to in the future. I'll keep that one to myself. <laughs> how important is sex to you? Incredibly. Incredibly. <laughs> Incredibly. Um, I think, yeah. you know, I've been in a relationship where I didn't really want to have sex and that was a massive sign to say, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. In relationships, not very, but having regular orgasms and being a sexual person is very. Good sex is really important to me. It makes me feel connected with the universe in some way. Apart from the physical pleasure and connection to another person, I really, truly believe that sex is fundamentally important as an experience to us as humans. It's really important. In fact, I'm somebody who struggled with sexual health issues in my 20s and 30s um, with vaginismus and painful sex. So actually, I've really enjoyed sex, but I have, my body hasn't always enjoyed it. So now as an older woman, you know, I really like it. I love having sex and I get grumpy if I don't have it. Are you dominant in the bedroom? No, I like to be dominated. <laughs> no, I'm not. Sometimes, I both, I switch between both. I'm quite a boss in life and I can be like that in the bedroom but I also like a guy who takes control. I don't think I'd want to be with a guy who's completely submissive. I would say I'm switch. So I'm a switch. It can be. <laughs> I could switch persona and just be like yeah I'm yeah just I know what I want and then other times I might be a little bit shy but I know I've got a dominant side which um I've never had any complaints about, thankfully, and I often shock people when I do feel I become dominant. Do you think that because you're so dominant in life with your disability, you think, do you think that that has any impact on the fact that you are submissive in the bedroom? Yes, because in the bedroom I want a release and I want to be able to feel taken care of and I want to, be able to feel like I don't have to think and I want to be able to receive and be the kind of in the feminine and the weak in the submissive energy because I find it uh, it allows me to relax. So yes. Are you in control of your pleasure? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Very. Yes. Now I am. Yeah, I do feel I'm in control of my pleasure because I've learned what works for me actually, and I would learn to ask for stuff and to say no and to say yes and you know discover what works for me. I'm absolutely in control of my pleasure. I think I've done so much exploring of myself, what I like, what I don't like. I talk about it, I watch about it, I learn about it, I read about it, I've touched myself so much. As you grow, the older you get, especially as a woman, the more you learn what you like and the more important it is to know those things so you're not just putting up and shutting up. You're in control to an extent. You get to choose what pleasure feels like for you. You get to ask what kind of pleasure you want. And I think that's important, especially if you've had a history of um, sexual trauma, for example. Being able to have that element of control back for yourself, that in itself is quite rewiring and healing. You know, just to feel that you can use whatever tools you need, you can express yourself however you need sexually. That, that's owning, owning your pleasure, yeah. So I'm all for empowering 
people with vaginas, female orgasms are the way forward and to just rep it, you know, we should be coming every day.